Who's introducing it? Me. Shall I do it? Yes. Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. Smelly's channel. And today we have for you a mystery unboxing. So Dan does not know what we are unboxing. I don't. We've got it in here. And you're absolutely clueless, aren't you? You, you honestly have no idea. No, I, I, I don't have the faintest idea. It could yeah. be designer, niche. I think it's more than one thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't the foggiest. Okay. So but it's fragrances. Yes. Okay. So they're um, something I purchased because of Katie Puckrick's blog. So ah. Katie Puckrick has a written blog called Katie Puckrick Smells and she spoke about one of the things that's in here and brought me to look at the brand. Okay. okay. I'm very intrigued now. Yeah. This is so, interesting. So um, let's, I'm not going to tell you too much about them. Should I show you the unboxing or do you want to unbox yeah, it? Yeah, if I, or? I'll hold it and you, then they can <laughs> see I'll what's happening. Cut. Yeah. Oh, with my designer. Parcel unboxer. Let's turn it around. <laughs> yes. How many YouTubers does it take to undo a box? Dirty. Okay, right. Thing. Pretty good. Okay, you don't want the paperwork. Okay. What's in the what box? What is it? I'm intrigued. Right. Okay, you're going to have to explain. You're going to have to leave here. Okay. I don't know what's, right. what's in this. So. Do you want me to hold it if you if yeah. just so yeah. it's just Okay, yeah, this is exciting. Oh. Oh! Look at what we have here. It looks like sandwiches or something. What is it? <laughs> they look like wraps, yeah. don't they? I'll have, <laughs> I'll have a chicken skin wrap, please. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. Uh, what? Okay, go on. You explain. <laughs> so the brand you can't really see it. I don't think that's that's ever gonna focus, um, is it? Because of the that's light. That's the disadvantage of this kind of light. So the brand is called Cadentia. Yeah, just about can. If you go past yeah. it. Cadentia. Like way up. Yep. And let's um open that one. Right. Do you want to open it? So you're not going to say any more at this no, point? No, not at this okay. point, no. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think the company's based in France. Okay. And I... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to get it it's on like, camera. Sorry it's to kind, shove it in your face. That's probably going to be quite loud. it's kind of like unwrapping oh, wow. fish and chips. Oh. I'll try and... Uh... Yeah. That's Oh, that's not really going to... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's called Eau de Cologne Extra by Jean... Jean Degel. Jean okay. Degel. Um, so it's an Eau de Cologne. We can actually pour it. I think they, they are splash. Oh. They are splashy. And you're going to need to explain in a minute. Are these all from this company? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the one I bought for you. Oh, wow. So it's a Fougere. It's this Fougere oh, wow. on the back. So you bought them? Yeah. So okay. this is the one that I bought for, I you chose for Dan. Thank um, you. Shall we, would you pour it onto one of these? You can, um, do you want to, yeah, go on, strips. yeah, probably the best way, yeah. So these are, um, I think they're kind of traditional kind of French cologne style things. Very cheap. So the shop is called Canden. Cadencia. But the brand here is called. The, this is the this is Cadencia, but then they've got different lines okay. within the brand. Oh, okay. So the house is Cadencia, but this oh, is I a see. Jean de Gel range. Okay, right. I and these begin are to understand. Yes. All colognes, and they're very affordable. And so Katie Puckrick talked about them. Katie Puckrick talked about the rose one. Okay. And they do massive bottles. You can get a five, I think a five hundred ml bottle, and they're very affordable. I like that. I knew you would. It's a, <laughs> my very first impression is it reminds Brute. me. I was gonna actually. Were yeah. You, yeah. No, I was gonna say Green Irish Tweed. Okay. By a bit, I was going a bit more upscale, but um, <laughs> now that you mention it, mm. yeah, it's very like Brute. Mm. It's got that real soapy, musky, mossy thing. Yeah, it's clean. It's got that. Um, I think it's probably cumarin. That you know that. Okay. Um, yeah. Almost almondy, fresh green smell. And it's just called what, Eau de Cologne? It's, um, this one's called Fougere. Oh, right. Um, so they've all got Eau de Cologne Extra th and then they've I got different... I think they're all going to be Eau de Cologne Extra. Oh, I see, I get but it. But this one's Fougere. Oh, that makes sense. It is very much a Fougere. Yeah. So it could so, be like a slightly posher brute. 
Yeah. And do you know what the price is, roughly? I think roughly? they were about twelve pounds. That, that's good um, enough. I've so they're, that's really cheap. Mm. And what house? What big? What size was that bottle? I think it's one two. Uh, what is it? A uh, one two five mil. Okay. And yeah, so nice. Tons. I like these kind of brands. Tons. I need like this. I Because it feels like a niche. Should I undo this one? Cheap niche. Yeah. Okay. I'm wrapping our fish and chips. It does feel like that. It makes I've me got hungry. a batter of sausage. <laughs> it's just without all the grease on the Oh, paper. so this is the one that Katie Puckwick talked about ah. on her blog, and it's called Rose. Okay, now um, I get it. They're all the same kind of bottle, and then they're either Rose or Fougere. Yeah. Okay, I'll just try and show the bottle off a bit more. We've got a new light, but it's so good that it makes everything white. <laughs> so that's not good. doesn't like that, does it? Okay, you get the idea. There you go. Nice, okay. Yeah, very this smart, the rose aren't one. they? You could, you'd kind of like want them on your they bathroom would look lovely, yeah. shelf. Very elegant. And they do, I think you can buy... Um, well, you're from, better at doing that than me. From the company, you can buy atomizers. They actually sell individual atomizers to you if you wanted to um, buy an atomizer order to... Order that with your order. Yeah. Okay. Um, Wonderful. Ooh. Now, Rose. So you would imagine perhaps it's going to be more feminine. Yeah. That's to me, nice. that is a very typical kind of rose water type smell. Mm-hmm. Almost like the the rose water you use in cooking. Okay. If you've, Literally if you've just ever cooked with rose water, which I doubt somehow. What do you think? <laughs> Mr. Smelly in his rose water cooking. It's pretty it's though, isn't it? Very pleasant. It's very distinctive and recognisable that you can smell rose. Yeah. It feels uh, like there might be a bit of violet or something in there. Yeah. Uh, it's very, um, it's kind of, what I, some people would call it old lady rose in that it's the kind of rose that would go into beauty products. Yeah. And Katie Puckrick really likes this one. Yeah, well she bought it, she did an article, it just, she smelled a man on a bus, I think it was a bus or a train, a train okay. I think. She smelled this um, gentleman. Yeah. Um, and he smelled amazing. Mm. She didn't, she didn't actually ask him what he was asleep, so she couldn't ask him what he was wearing. But it was a rose fragrance, right. and then she um, got a, a massive bottle of that to kind of just quell the, oh, uh, the urge for rose. But she, Katie Puckrick saw a, smelled a sleeping man on a bus. I don't bus. think she went up to him and sniffed no, him. No, but she just I got this. I think his his smell was so smell. strong. She liked it. She was yeah, good. yeah. His smell was so strong, it overtook the train. And obviously, when you're on a train, normally you can have. I fell asleep drunk on a train the other way. I was wearing Did a red. No, I'm joking. No, <laughs> it could have yeah. been me. I passed out. I passed out in this. I was wearing portrait of a lady and I passed out. No. Well, no, it was very wasn't. pretty. I don't know how much use I would get out of these. It might right. be more of like a bed scent, like just. I'd wear the fuchsia. Yeah, you know me. The, the brute. Oh, the one yeah. that smells a bit like a, a posh. Well, it's only posh because I'm it thinking looks it's posh. posh. Yeah. I did say green Irish tweed at first. Yeah. So we're not going to get into the notes. We're just going to give what we. I think it's more fun. I think, just to yeah, say, let's yeah. just say how, yeah, how yeah, they yeah. smell. I can always read out the notes mm. of the the website yeah. in a bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I think it's more fun this way. Okay, let's right, know viewers so if you've tried any of these, by the way, or if you know more. It's called heliotrope. Ooh. So these would be a, a nice idea if you're trying to understand what things smell like, yeah. because they, you're going to get a lot of the individual scent because it's yeah. kind of like a solid floor I guess you just well, you know mostly one note they um, said one note yeah so heliotrope is a I got this because I love what heliotrope the Dickens is heliotrope <laughs> by the way heliotrope is a floral um, that smells somewhat almondy and somewhat powdery right um, it's you know trying to think um i think hypnotic poison might have it okay. that almondy powdery smell right um I'll maybe well i'll know now when i smell it maybe yes oh yeah does it smell of heliotrope yeah, yeah. a lot to you yeah oh that's very nice mm. okay i recognize that kind of smell from yeah. other things it's the kind of thing i like isn't it it's marzipan like yeah marzi it's sort of sweet mm. And I mean, I get what you mean about almondy a bit, mm. but not it's not bitter almond. No, no, well, it's kind of it, like there's a definite powdery sweetness. Almost vanilla nice. almond. Yeah, I think I heard someone once say van heliotrope's a bit like vanilla or yeah, has yeah. some. 
And that's not too powdery, actually. So I, I always think of heliotrope as being quite powdery, but that's, that's yeah. not coming off too powdery. That's quite comforting. Yeah. A f- bit foody. I, I, I mean, mm. I feel like I could eat that. It does. It's sort of yeah, icing like sugar or something coming so to mind. Yeah. If you wanted to add... It's, it feels to me like they, the way that I would use them at the moment is mm. I would layer them. Okay. Because they are they're colognes, so they're not going to be mega strong. Mm-hmm. They're not going to last too long. If I wanted to just add a vanilla yeah. almond sweetness, I'd just chop that on to something. Yeah, I think I think for mm. people like you who like to layer, they could be great yeah. fun. Also for blokes like me, I know sometimes Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel, he's bought a few kind of aftershave splashes. Like the yeah. Fougere, for me, I'd love to like just douse myself in that one. I, couldn't, I often can't be bothered to go and get a fancy fragrance yeah. to spray it on but I'd love to use the food there for that or after the gym mm. yeah just for like or just popping down the shops or whatever yeah. so last one I can't remember what it is yeah I keep wanting it to be a um, scotch egg or something oh look what colour it is oh oh it's got to be lavender hasn't it violet oh look at that <laughs> oh my goodness I love that Let's see how it do, smells. Do, do they have loads of other ones got too? Got a few. Yeah, right. um, I think that's the heliotrope one. I, if there's like a citrus lemony one, I, I bet Probably I'd like Probably is. Um, yeah, there's a few things on the sites. It's not just these. They have a more um, structured eau de parfum, um, sort of about 50, 60 pounds. Oh, okay. For like your more So typical. I suppose we should link them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be nice and put the link we'll in. We'll let them, yeah. So the, I purchased these. Yeah, did, yeah, it's not, not, I've had no contact yet. with the brand or anything. Paid for them myself. Um, Brilliant. Ooh. Try that. <laughs> Completely soaked the paper. Yeah, it's mega violet. Mm. Yeah, from my understanding of... It's the three of them, apart from the fougere, do seem almost mm. one note. Yeah. Type of things, but or, or I bet there's other stuff has to be going on in there. But yeah. it's it's quite to the forefront that if you like violet, it's almost that's it. has something along the lines of cherry bakewell, but also like oh, a yeah. solvent, cherry, I a get. solventy kind of, not in a bad way, but you know if you smell a, a marker pen. A, mm. a nice marker pen that yeah, you like I, smelling. I could get addicted to those. Yeah, yeah it's kind like of permanent one or something. Mm, yeah, a little bit like that, but in in the best possible way. We don't encourage Sniffing abusing pens. pens at home, people. Yeah, mm, quite I, potent. I like that. That's quite that, potent yeah. actually. Yeah, I'm not sure that's, that that's not, my um, thing. That it's one. not quite what I expected. It's more full bodied than I expected. Yeah, they're quite. St- we can't talk about. Performance, no, they're, they're definitely they're strong they're enough on the paper. Bulky, yeah. I'm but that's richer than I ever anticipated. Yeah, that's very powerful. It, it, I'd probably say mostly l- girls will like that more than boys. Yeah, yeah. Quite a mature lady smell. I don't mm-hmm. know. I think or, violets now okay. are more... Um, they're coming out. There's more fragrances right. with violet in. I... Uh, I guess it does hark back to those sort of um, violet waters, like the rose mm, waters. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I can't see sort of fifteen-year-old girls ever choosing these kind of fragrances. Mm. But I'll probably, if someone bought them for them, they'd enjoy them. Would you, if you could get? Because I can't imagine. You know, with a splash, I'm thinking. I've yeah, got, you, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're not going to use it like an aftershave. Know, but yeah. if ladies use a splash, what do you do? I don't. I, you, I don't know. Let's just. How do let's, ladies apply a splash? Right. Let's try. Because blokes, it. we rub it on our hand and then do that. But I can't. You would. Do you ever? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> but you would put them in a sprayer, wouldn't you? I think I'd rather spray yeah. it on myself. Okay. But um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so cheap. Yeah. Why not just pour it all over you? You know. You like, can, yeah, drink yeah. it. <laughs> Don't drink mm, it. Pretty. Well, I've got Aqua de Parma Colonial on today, but mm. let me try the Fougere and I'll just slap it on. Yeah. And over it? the top. It's, it's yours. Oh, thank I you. Bought it for you. Isn't that nice of Claire? Thank <laughs> you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Okay, so I'll just. Uh, 
If you if I can hand the bottle to you after yeah. I okay yeah this is how I would apply. <laughs> okay, a little bit in the hands. Then yeah. it's always a problem where you put the bottle, and then you just do that. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, it feels nice. <laughs> it's lovely. It's similar to Brie, but it's very, not. Very. It's a very yeah. you fragrance. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely use that a lot actually. I I bug that in my gym bag and just slap it on or I I sometimes I have a sprayer handy. Yeah. I've even got like cheap plastic ones you mm. buy in Superdrug. Yeah. And I just bug it in there. Yeah, I like it. Good. Wicked. And so I think you could just freshen up your clothes or whatever. Yeah, use exactly. it as a linen spray. I think these are fun and they don't look cheap and tacky. They're a niche brand off. with worse packaging than that in the world. Yeah. Aren't they? So go, you go and check the, uh, Oh, I don't think the oh. prices are on here now. Um, but yeah, I think they were about the twelve pound each mark, approx, oh. and then they did free shipping over a certain amount. Oh right. So, so I didn't pay for shipping there either. Oh nice. So, and did they take long to come? Uh, it took over a week, just over a week. So because I think they're in, I think they're in France. Yeah. But actually, I don't know if the postmark was from France. But yeah, it wasn't super super quick, but it wasn't too long. Okay. Yeah, it took about a week. -ish. That's not too so bad. I that's that's too fair bad. enough from another country, I yeah, think. Yeah. So uh, it says mm. House really? Maitre Parfumé Depuis 1945. So Do you know what Depuis means? Since. Well done. I guess. I was going <laughs> to say before. I think it. But ah. that's the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, you know a bit of French, don't you? Petit peu. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we we would say these could be. We're not saying, oh my god, these are no, incredible. These, these are and not you like, need to go and buy all of them. These are not going to replace your niche fragrances. No, maybe not. They're not going to replace your designer fragrances, but yeah. they're something fun to have yeah. and so, to know that it's cheap and you can be very very excessive with them. Or if you have someone in your life who likes a classic splashes that hark back to Dupuis. That would be a great... What year was it? 1945. Yeah. yeah. So my dad would enjoy that because yeah, he be loves a good a splash present. and he, prefer, he prefers a splash to a, an oat, like a, a spray. Yeah. There are still quite a lot of men of an older generation mm. who don't like a spray. No, it was, they don't want to smell like the cologne guy like projecting. No. They just want like a, a light scent yeah. to feel clean and, and groomed. And these, yeah. So this would this would be a great present for you know one of your dad's Christmas presents or something yeah. like that. Or you know, I'm actually really pleased to yeah, get you it. Like so it, you know, you? and so I've got all kinds of posh stuff, but I still enjoy mm. these. They're fun. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying this this violet one. I love the smell of violet. Mm. You like you're a violet fan. It's smelling gorgeous. I I would happily wear that. Yeah, actually. Um, if you said that was oh, I've got this new it's a hundred pound indie niche thing. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. I would just, I would happily wear that on its own. I think it smells gorgeous. Mm, but great. also consider layering it with stuff that I think it might work with. Well, can you mix rose or, and violet? Yeah. So you could yeah. mix those two. I know, you could probably pour a little fun. bit in your bath, scent the bath water, Ugh. put it in your iron maybe. Um, all sorts, because it's sort of fairly cheap. Yeah. I think you can find all kinds of, way of ways of um, enjoying them really. I, yeah, I really like them. I like the aesthetic. Simple. Simple but nice. Yeah, impressed. Brilliant. Mm. Did, so did you want to mention that Katie Puck Creek oh, yes. might be... So you, we've got some news. Let's, let's yeah, build, build this up. Dun, dun. Okay. Right, we've got some news about Katie Puck Creek. So recently we, we were talking about how she's done her blog again. She's come mm -hmm. back to her blog, which is a written blog. Should we, just in case someone doesn't know who she is... Yes. Uh, she is Katie Puckrick, of course, of uh, an entertainer who's been on British TV for many years and a c kind of a comedian a bit. Yeah, or entertainer yeah, straight. Quite, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well known certainly here in the UK, and mm. but she's from the states. Yeah. Uh, and a very had one of the most popular YouTube fragrance channels in the very early days. I'll yeah. hand back to you now. Going to take back up the sort story. Of, sort of nine, ten years you ago. It certainly stopped um, about. About five, five years, years ago, ago four, five, yeah. and um, really beautiful descriptions of fragrances and quite short, yeah, succinct, very, yes, but and very good, enigmatic and mm. um, lots of lots of descriptive sort. It would of always be this makes me feel like nineteen fifties yeah, film is, star yeah. in Paris, not like 
break down or every note or anything no, like no, that. No, 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 yeah. 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 Um, yeah, just really fun to listen to. Yeah, very good. And so her videos are excellent, so do check them out if you haven't done already. But mm-hmm. the news that we have to share with you is she's coming back to YouTube. So Katie Puckrick has said from her own lips that she's coming back to YouTube in January. She told Sam, who has the channel, My World of Fragrance. If you don't know that channel, no, I don't know that one. check it out. It's, it's really quite nice. New. It's, I think it's fairly new. There's not a lot of videos, a um, mm-hmm. handful of videos, really, really nice videos, and she's beautiful to look at as well, which doesn't hurt, does that'll, it? That'll please my mainly male you're, viewership. You're, yes, yes, exactly. She's, she's a gorgeous lady, and she actually bumped into Katie Puckwick at her yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, and Katie has confirmed she is coming back to YouTube in January, so we have that to look forward to. That is that is exciting news, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, for for all of us who missed the, the whole channel. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Okay. So, don't hold us to it, but we believe that's, that's that may what, be happening. You, yeah. you could call it hearsay because it's not directly from yeah. Katie no, with lips to to my ear. However, um, there's only one. And she didn't say you couldn't tell anyone. No, I, okay. well, I checked with Sam, source. and Sam okay. said she was. Katie didn't say don't say anything. So. We're kind of hoping yeah. that we're not pissing uh, anyone off here, but um, that's what we heard. We're going yeah, we, we to put it out there. We can't Why help not? but share the good news. We can't. Share the joy. <laughs> ex- yeah. Okay, so let's know what you think about that. Mm. And if you've, if you've uh, watched any of our videos before, let us know what you think. And have you, have you guys tried the range of fragrances? Cadentia. From Cadentia. Cadentia? Cadentia. Cadentia. Let us know. <laughs> and any other great cheapies that you'd recommend? Yes. So, yeah, these are definitely on the affordable scale. So what other affordable things should mm. we be checking out? Discuss. Is that it? Mm. I smell pretty. I smell manly. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Right, it's Friday night. We need a drink. See you next time. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.